to get big game ready. People are stocking up on Super Bowl merch. Now, this is licensed merchandise. The NFL heavily screens who gets to create it and sell it. Three local fashion designers and entrepreneurs were approached to create some swag for the NFL and the Las Vegas Super Bowl. Born and raised in Las Vegas, just like myself. First down for feature is here, Spring Mountain. EJ wanted to capture the local market's desire for sneaker culture. Found the cheapest rent that we could possibly find, and that's why we chose Chinatown. Kind of got in with some entry-level brands throughout the years, just hustled, grinded. With the growing popularity of Chinatown and more tourists flocking to the area, the grind turned golden. Feature worked to bridge the gap between high-end and streetwear, Feature kept growing with a location now in the Wynn, another in LA area, Phoenix, and soon San Diego, a booming website as well. They caught the attention of the NFL as it was scouring the valley for local fashion brands. Feature debuted their very own Super Bowl swag at an NFL Origins event. We had our Origins pop up earlier today. Uh, I think that product pretty much sold out. I was shocked when the NFL reached out to me being a small business and a handmade artist. It was such an honor to be able to even talk to them about this opportunity. Well, Anya Bangs Varates hand makes jewelry. You can find it in boutiques in the arts district and across the valley as the artist behind Love Hand and Heart. Inspired by the spirit of Las Vegas, the Neon Desert Sky Collection and the Glitter and Gold Collection. Low process, but it's very, very rewarding. For local merchants to get a national platform, it's life changing. As a locally grown, smaller retailer, to get access to someone with such a big platform like the NFL, it actually is really difficult. But when you have programs like Origins, it really is a blessing. This is the third year that NFL Origins has gone into a host city and featured local designers.